finally say it! It's over! We are Calder Cup champions! He's got his first NHL goal! Ready? You brought your feet this morning? No? No, uh, Your breath smells really bad. Because <laughs> I'm sick. Do you still brush your feet? Yeah, I do. Yeah, not today. No, I mean, uh, I still try to play the feisty, edgy type of player that I am right now, like when I did my first year pro. I'm not going to be fighting uh, guys every game like I did in, uh, a couple years ago, but, um, you know, it's always fun to, to help contribute offensively. But at the same time, I'm not going to take away what got me up here. And I'm not going to change my style of play. I'm disciplined. You're just soft. I'm on the paper while you're in the box. We're on the same team. Well, <laughs> not today, not this morning. The fighting kind of had to get limited down, but you know, I know if I eventually make it to the next level, that I'm going to have to go back to where I started uh, with agitating and fighting every once in a while. You know, the, the injury thing, you know, I wish I could have came back earlier, but that's the way it goes. I, it took, took me a couple of games to get the feet wet, but I think as soon as uh, I got back into things, I adjusted, you know, back to where I was playing before, and I felt comfortable out there. We are ready to go. Peter Morasic moves into the goal to my right-hand side. He continues an amazing run, two years with this team, and under Jeff Blaschel, he has played every postseason game from start to finish. Here's Riley Sheehan stealing the puck at center across that line, feeds it across, poking it in the circle with a shot, score! Timu poking in 36 seconds into the opening period, goes up for left-hand corner. Morazic, you just can't get him out of that. Lineup and, Ra and uh, McCullough be the first one to tell you. You can't blame Coach Blasher. So Tommy McCullough knows he can do a great job. Now look out of front, score! Stars and tied it. Chris Miller. Play back underway. Look out, Dustin Jeffrey's going to walk right in front of shot score. What a start to this hockey game. The Griffin scoring 36 seconds in, only to watch the Stars come back. Tally two goals in a minute and two seconds. Mueller to tie it. Jeffrey gives them a two to one lead. Their Texas Stars lead this hockey game right now, three to one. You know, Blash had a, had a, had a line in the locker room. Uh, you earned this, and you know it's true. Where you're not going to get nothing to be handed to you, and especially in the AHL, it's a good league where you got to work for everything you got. And you know, if you're not if you're not going to work, then you're not going to have any success in this league. Now look out, puck right in front of that grip and net, and Morazic went down to stop it. It's loose in the high slot. Now another shot, and they score. going right for the Texas Stars and even Fox who let that shot go in among skates from the high slot has a gigantic grin on his face almost as though I can't believe that puck went in and nor can I right between the pads of Morazic and that might be it I get a feeling that Jeff Lashell may pull Morazic here I definitely you know once the first couple games kind of once the margin widened I thought maybe there's a chance I was going to go in and you know, you just always need to be ready. You never know when somebody's going to get hurt. You need to jump in. And, uh, you know, I was prepared when I did have to go in finally. Obviously, with the, the stint in Detroit, you, you learn a lot from, uh, 
from the guys you're, you're playing with and there's so many good players there and, and down here it's, it's a lot of fun always and, and you get such a good development staff and um, it's always good to, to come back and see some familiar faces and um, all in all it was a, it was a great year and um, I'm definitely happy with it. You know, I think this year was, you know, it taught you a lot about what you can overcome. I mean, our team had to deal with a lot of guys going up and down and injured and you know, different lineups every night. So it's kind of, you know, just kind of taught you on how, how to deal with that and how you can still win with guys going in and out of the lineup if you stick to what your coaches are saying and everything like that. So, I mean, I think that was the biggest thing this year. Last year till now, I'm definitely a lot more confident in my abilities. I mean, last year I, I knew I could play in this league and play well, and I think this year I, I really went out there and did that. And now I'm just, you know, sort of have that excitement just to go out and have a good summer and, uh, you know, hopefully improve on everything I've done this year, next year. We had guys just out of junior that, you know, had just come in. So I mean, that was huge for them. I couldn't, you know, I know how much it helped playing a couple games before I came in uh, as a 20-year-old and how much that helped. I couldn't even imagine what you know, a, play, a couple playoff series would do. I mean, every year I think every guy tries to get bigger, faster, stronger. Um, you know, I got an outside shot to maybe make the big team. Um, you know, that's my goal, to, to give myself the best chance to make it. But if I come back here next year, and you know, I'll be happy with that. I, 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 tons of fun here. I love this organization. So I think for me, uh, probably to probably get some muscle on, you know, work on my speed and skill to give me the best chance to make the Red Wings next year.